Welcome to the Freak Show, and on today's episode we're gonna play as Albania. Their traditions might be terrible, armies horrible, and economy even worse, but you know, that's Albania, you can't defeat Albania. So let's get into it. Now I haven't played this game for a long time, but uh, I know one thing only. If you're playing in Balkans, always befriend Hungary or Austria. <laughs> you can also try befriend Poland, Lithuania, but let's be honest, if somebody needs help, that's them. They're gonna be dead in 100 years, so don't care. Okay, finally, after a few depths, Hungary wants to be my ally. When I have depths, I, I build an army and I don't know why I did it. Albania doesn't need an army. We can just look at the enemy and they will melt away, bro. Also, funny thing, uh, Venice is guaranteeing my independence, so pretty much I'm safe. So that's gonna be a boring game because Ottomans will not invade Albania to declare war on Venice. That never happens. It's gonna be a boring game and I'll have to declare war on them. But I will do it in a backstabbing fashion when they will uh, invade uh, the Byzantines, so yeah, I have some chances against them. Funny moment, Balkans are dead. Also, Hungary became my ally finally, but they are busy killing Wallachia, Bosnia and Serbia at the same time, so I can't call them into war. Boys, we did it. The Albania has better development than Constantinople. <laughs> I spent all my fucking research points into it, but I have the same technology as the Osman in the fighting, so we good, we good. Also Hungary wants to join the war. Guess what happens? They declare the war on these stupid Byzantines, and we can invade. So we have the boys, boys ready to die for the country. I, I'm kind of poor and economy is dying. Let's do it. And this, this is your brain on Albania. This is cursed, but this is what should have happened in real life. And my plan is to take Constantinople from the Turks so they don't colonize it and they don't have more, you know, development and stuff like that. So they become poorer and poorer with each war and I become stronger. Although I will not become stable. Yes, Hungary is getting sieged by every HRE member and I'm not helping as their ally. <laughs> Why are you asking? I have Austria as my ally also, so that's why I'm not helping them. I don't care that I'm gonna lose them. I'm kind of poor, so I came up with the plan for quick money. I'm just gonna invade the Greeks, or should I say the Roman Empire, or should I say what's left of it, baby, and finally end their miserable life. So yeah, let me just uh, click the declare war button and uh, we beginning to have fun. Also imagine how funny that must be. You are a writer of a history writer um, and uh, you have a date on fall of the Rome. You see who did it and it's fucking Albania invading Athens in 14 something, you know, it's <laughs> bogus. So I joined a war against Poland uh, because Hungary needs help. Uh, I was peacefully minding my own business, you know, taking over Greece and um, they decided to invade Constantinople, which is have a weird name when it's Albanian, but yeah. I don't know, the Polacks don't use brains sometimes, bro. Like, it's not their game, it's not the game, it's not their AI, that's, that's how Polish people work, bro. So yeah, let me just peace out with the Byzantines and we are ending the Roman Empire and uh, we can focus on the Polish. I like this very much. I like this. This event. This event is Albania right there. <laughs> Alright, we um, helped out Hungarians. What the fuck is your problem? You are not even a real country and you are sieging my cities, bro. The Hungary has been cleaned up. Uh, I don't know how, how is that possible. Also, they lost the fucking uh, <laughs> Habsburg dynasty because of a uh, revolt. So they are just Hungarians, Monotron, so I don't think the Mr. Austria gonna control them. Which is good, because Austria is a piece of shit and doesn't want to help me in any wars. So yeah, I'm gonna just take this little thing and I'm gonna slap these mofokas where they belong to. You know what the time it is, baby? It's time for war with the Turkish. I must connect Constantinople to the rest of Greece. This is terrible, bro. You know, even the Austrians are coming to help me, bro. That's gonna be easy. The funny part is I have to fight like four more wars with the Ottoman to completely wipe them out. So yeah, that's gonna take a while. Dude, I killed so many Greeks in one revolt, that was like half of population just dying there. Also, I paid nearly all my debts, but the problem is uh, that ain't gonna fix anything. Also, I tried to change my religion to Sunni or 
orthodoxy, but the stability of this country ain't so poggers. So I'm just gonna stay with caveism. Uh, and I'm and the fucking plague, of course, poggers. Because I don't have money, I came up with another great plan. I'm gonna invade Serbia and take Kosovo because it has gold, so... You know, just I wanna be rich right now. Entire Serbia is occupied by Albania, bro. This is so beautiful. Well, that was a quick war. We did it, boys. They are dead. <laughs> Alright, so... I wanted to attack Venice because... As, as you see, they lost the war. They're pretty weak. Austrians and Hungarians will join the war. But there's a little problem called the Ottomans, who are the little bitches. And they, um, yeah, they, they gave me the warning to not go to war. And I don't want to fuck with Venice when they have like five allies. And Ottomans who have also five allies. Uh, because that will be a disaster. So I'm just going for the Ottomans. I'm gonna beat the shit out of them. So, yeah. I need to wait four years more. Okay. The funny happened, um, Poland and Lithuania decided to invade the Pogger Hungary. I'm not gonna help the Hungarians anyway, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna observe the thing, you know? Okay, maybe I'm gonna help in two or one battles, but let's be honest, I'm just... I, what I can do. So, Hungarians lost the war, Austrians called me into another one, but I think they got it covered, so... Yeah, I mean, look at their unit placements, the Czechs? Where's their army, bro? Like, literally dead. <laughs> That's one fucking cursed thing. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, of course, Turk. We are advancing. Uh, advancing only in military. Look at the Ottoman technology and look at mine. Um, we're living in a tribal society. The Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been a disaster for... Oh, it's time for another war of the Turks. Let's go. I'm so fucking tired, bro. Sadly, this time the Hungarians will not join. I mean, fair enough, they have 5k army and half of their countryside is gone. So I'm gonna call the Austrians, but that's gonna be that's gonna be it. Actually, we're gonna we gonna manage. They have uh, Bohemians on their side as vassal. So yeah, we gaming. New plan because I can't go through um, the Anatolia without Turks invading me and my army being so shit I decided to invade Crimea again but then I re when I took the fucking fort um, Austrians somehow just walked through water or something bro because there's 40k of them with Croatians just chilling around and burning down the Turkish capital to the ground so uh, I think going pretty chill okay I'm a bit fucked not in Anatolia but here the Ottomans felt what I'm gonna do when they just, um... Yeah, they, they just beat up my army. So, uh, I'm waiting for the Austrians come back to my land so they can help me. And I think we'll be chilling because when the capital of the Turks will fall, it's gonna be easy from there. I fucking hate this game, bro. Look at their state of their country. How much shit they have. 38% one of the fucking game. Who is... who is... Oh my god, Golden Horde is dead. Uh, who is paying for their armies? They have 31k troops. Who is paying for their army? Bulgaria? Fucking Crimea, bro. <laughs> Who has money for that shit? My fucking god, this game is so terrible. This war was terrible. Um, Austrians, white beast. As you can see, Turks are coming back to whoop my ass because I have non-existent army. Tunisia also left. Uh, so we, it's it's only me and Turkey. At least um, the Austrians gave me the land, so it's 99% of win. Well, that's it for this war. That's a lot. That's a lot of casualties for nothing, bro. Oh yeah, I took the Bulgaria. So much provinces on it because I'm gonna just uh, make a vassal. So yeah, I don't have to court him. I'm gonna just annex the Bulgaria later on and use them for my wars. So the games become easier. Yeah, Hungary, we had a great friendship, great alliance, but no thanks, I'm not suicidal. So, you missed a war with Venice, so nothing important, I got one province from that one. Uh, and, I've been doing tech, uh, I mean, doing tech that is doing one tech, I finally can pick a tradition. And, um, I'm gonna pick the army, because I have terrible, terrible army, it literally gets destroyed anywhere I go, so I have to pick the military traditions. 
It is time for the final major war with the Ottomans. Uh, they have few, few allies that are big, but fear not, they are useless. So Austria will, I think Austrians will delete them. <laughs> the Austrians in Iraq, bro. <laughs> We're gonna fight the Karakondo. Oh my god, oh, baby. It's gonna be a war. So the war came to an end and this is my plan. This is what I want to take. Yeah, they are out of Balkans and I'm taking Crimea. I want them as my vassal because later on I have a, a bit of a plan against Lithuania if I'm gonna do it anyway. God is with Albanian Aryan race. I forgot a name somewhat like that. <laughs> oh, that is that is funny. So what happened is I got called to a war against Poland-Lithuania. I lost one battle and Crimea to the occupation, but the central Poland is occupied by Austrians and other Germans, so we got it covered. Okay, status of Poland is dead and um, Poles are sieging out Germany. So uh, I think we won. I'm gonna threaten war, Venice for one province. This province is Albanian and I want it, bro. So they have Aragon, Poland, Castile on their side, I have Austria. So if they not gonna accept, and believe me, they not gonna accept, we are gonna be in World War One in the 16th century. So uh, let's get it to it, bro. Well, where are all my allies, bro? Why are they sieging Poland? Please help me somebody. I'm dying in Croatia. All right, Poland wants to leave the war. Nobody gets nothing from this war. All right, I don't care. I don't care. Just leave me alone. Let's go. Even more people want to leave their alliance. I see Castile and some German miners. <laughs> Funny. And um, yeah, this war going pretty well. I'm gonna get so much worse when they're gonna leave the war. Oh my baby. Dude, this war is so successful. I, I took, I'm gonna take my province, Austrians gonna get something, and all of the Greece gonna end up in my hands. So, yeah, we dripping. You know what it's time for? A war with Ottomans. I think we done that too many times at this point. Okay, we did it again. The Ottomans are dead, and we can capitulate them, of course. So yeah, that's it for this war. Let's go. This time we are evolving into an empire. Okay, it's a kingdom title now, but we look a thick on map, all right? Another addition to my fine collection. I was busy with uh, trolling and I... I trolled some Greeks to becoming uh, Albanian. I really achieved nothing else besides this thing. And existing. I need someone that lead will lead my armies into victory. Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> oh my god, he's actually good, bro. <laughs> Yes, the Napoleon was Albanian indeed. I might be insane, and it's a bit too early for the Napoleonic Wars, but uh, this guy wants to invade Italy, and we gonna help him. Alright, let's do it. Quick invasion, and we are on their shores. Okay, we landed, and we can finally attack him. Go get him, Napoleon. Burn that cunt to the ground. Why are we losing? What the fuck happened during that battle? What the hell? <laughs> I hate this game, I hate Lucky Nations, I hate everything. I'm gonna take my revenge, buddy. Let's go, let's get him, get him, Napoleon. We got it, we got it. Barely, but we won. Is that a famous reference to the famous Tartars in Parade? Bro, bro, the Britain wants wants to leave. They seen the Tartars occupying Charles in a part in the France. And Caucasians taking Kane in Normandy and they're like we're gonna leave the war we want to leave the war and I can't blame them guys we did it we beat the Spanish the Genoese the British <sighs> we beat so many people and we won the Albania is truly unkillable I want to do something very funny because my sanity won't let me go I need to attack Russia right now, bro. I mean, we already have Napoleon here, so what's the problem? We can't lose, right? For now, it's going pretty boring. Only Russians falling back to their mainland, their favorite tactic, goddamn cowards. And uh, maybe they are occupying half of Poland, but I don't care. Dude, I'm literally occupying Tsaritsyn or the Stalingrad, if you know it like that. You hoi four player fucking lip top. So yeah, there is no signs of Russians in the area. I had like one mile minor battle with them, there was like 5k of them, and that's it, there is no Russian army. Oh, they they are, I started to occupy Moscow and they appeared on a map, finally, fight me please, I'm, I wanna fight. Finally, we have a battle, god damn, they, their army is pretty shit though, I don't know what they are doing bro.
this one goes to my cringe compilation. Well, I guess that's it for Russia. They are literally dead. We did it. I mean, I did it. I mean, Albanian people did it. We defeated Russia. What a Napoleon couldn't do. Wait, he's he's in my army, so uh, he actually did it. Congratulations, Napoleon. You conquered Russia. Quotation marks. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I'm bored. I'm gonna get some uh, food and that's it. There is nothing more. Just got seven.